Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at Skyline vSphere Health. Skyline vSphere Health is a new feature in vSphere 7.0. There are many new features available in this new, v in this new version and uh, I have a blog post about that on my, uh, on my blog so I uh, put a description to that in the description below so you free feel free to check that out when you've got some time. But for the Skyline vSphere Health solution I'm just going to quickly show you um, what that's all about. So uh, last year uh, VMware provided us this nice little table uh, on their website and uh, basically describes what the health solutions are versus the Skyline Advisor solution. So vSphere Help will give us proactive findings and health checks uh, for vSphere and vSAN, uh, if you have vSAN that is, and um, those fee those uh, alerts and findings and checks etc are available within the product itself so we don't have to go to any website or third party system to uh, to see those. And uh, the great thing about uh, Visa for Health is that it's no, there's no additional charges. You don't need to be on a certain support agreement or anything like that. As long as you have a license, uh, in fact, it even works in evaluation mode, then you can check that out. Uh, the downside of it, of course, is that you don't get um, like advanced findings. Uh, you don't get the automatic log transfer uh, system, and um, you don't get to uh, give your uh, support your kind of your issues and logs directly into VMware. Uh, for visibility so if you do come across any problems within your environment you have to log an SR in the traditional way and upload your logs manually. Uh, one other benefit of uh, Visa for Health is that um, or Skyline Visa for Health is that we can actually just uh, automatically schedule the health checks and we can also run them on demand as well which is uh, incredibly useful. So the first thing we need to do to enable this is uh, just go into menu and administration a bunch of in there, jump onto the uh, the customer uh, experience improvement program, the CEIP, and we just need to enable this. Obviously, there are some bits of data that get sent on to VMware for analysis, so uh, just make sure you've uh, agreed with your compliance team that that's okay to do. And VMware do have a, a nice little page here about uh, what exactly is shipped across and what isn't, and how all the data is sanitized, etc. So we're just going to join the program. It only takes a few seconds. Okay, so that's been done, and now of course we can leave the program whenever we want, and that just takes a couple of seconds to complete as well. So now that we've joined the CEIP, if we go over to the uh, the home page here, and uh, back onto our VMs and templates view, if we uh, if the if the health status here uh, shows us shows us any problems, then it will alert us at the top here like a traditional alarm would, um, but we can actually go into more detail. So if we go into the monitor page here, I'm down to this uh, Skyline Health tab. Once that loads up, we'll be able to see uh, an overview, like an audit almost of the environment, and uh, it'll show us any alarms that have been triggered under that uh, new solution. Okay, so this is what's loaded up for my environment. Uh, we can see that the CEIP has been uh, successfully enabled, and uh, we do have uh, connectivity to online health. Uh, we don't have an advisor as we mentioned before um, and uh, we can see that uh, 65 of the health checks have been performed successfully. Just bear in mind that as well as um, in turning on the CEIP we also need to make sure that our uh, systems have access to the internet uh, to be able to uh, report uh, data to VMware so that it can analyze that and then ship that, uh, ship those uh, uh, ch um, health checks if you like directly into our user interface. So the only thing wrong in my environment here is that uh, I had some host connectivity issues earlier and there were in fact network problems so it's quite nice that it's picked those up. And what we can do here is just select this and it will actually tell us, um, it will actually give us like, a good indication as to what that problem is all about. And then what I really like here is that it directly integrates into uh, VMware's support platform. So we can ask VMware here, uh, we can get some more information so it will give us uh, the a, a link directly to the KB which this relates to, and of course it relates to vSphere, uh, or vCenter Server 7, and it gives us a workaround, you know, if, uh, if it is actually healthy, it's, a, it's been misreported, then we can uh, we can change this advanced configuration here, which is uh, very nice to see. Now as we mentioned before, we can actually run this on demand, rather than just letting the schedule run this for us. And the way we achieve that is simply by pressing this retest button up here. I won't run it now because it does take a few minutes to run. 
um, but uh, that is uh, really useful to have there if you just want to get a quick snapshot of any possible changes after you've, for example, added a few hosts or made some alterations to the environment. So that's it really for Skyline vSphere Health. I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching.